you're up here, the ball will head off over that direction somewhere. Okay? Next part of that, next part of the serve, when you're taking your racket back, you want your elbow to get above this 90, 90 degree position here. That wants to be more than 90 degrees, which will, which will allow your racket to get down and therefore using gravity, etc., to launch up at the ball. Part of that deal with the part of that serve with the way your physiology of your body works is as you're taking the racket back, if you bend your knees, you will naturally turn your shoulders and naturally lift your racket up. So as those, as you're taking the racket back, you bend your knees and they and they work together to get you into the proper position. Now your body weight, as you go back, your body weight want, and you're going to toss, your body weight wants to be going forward as you toss. If not, Toss on the back and then go forward, and the ball will be behind you. Okay. Now, the key to the key to this serve, to all good serves, is hip and shoulder turn. So as you're getting back into this position, that your hips and shoulders turn, and that you're launching from this position up towards the ball. Always up towards the ball. Your ball toss. The ball toss wants to be up. To right about the top of your swing, you don't want it to be dropping too fast, too far, otherwise it will be coming down too fast and it will be very hard for you to hit. Still going. As that ball, as you're, as you're tossing and going forward while you toss, your, ball, your left arm should be going straight up and a big key is that you hold the ball in your fingertips, not in your hand, in the fingertips. Because while it's called a toss, it's actually a ball release. You simply release the ball into the air. And that ball toss wants to be just to the right of the middle of your body, which is about exactly where you would throw. So all of this thing is, is a throwing motion. Talk about the, did I talk about the hip turn? Yep.